Hello and welcome to all in this video lecture series on 8051 microcontroller. Here we are going to discuss the hardware interfacing with 8051 microcontroller and in that the first hardware that is a relay interfacing with 8051 microcontroller that we are going to discuss in this video session. So what is a relay? Right. So before going to deal with a concept of this relay, let us find out what is the need of it. Why to use the relay in a circuit? So basically, in some electronic applications, we need to switch or control the high voltages or high currents. In these cases, we may use electromagnetic or solid state relays. For example, it can be used to control home appliances using low power electronic circuit. Right? So, in short, whenever we are going to deal with control of some appliances which may run on low or a high voltage currents, voltages or currents, in that case we are going to make use of this electromagnetic switch. And relay is nothing but what? It is a simple electromagnetic switch. Right? So, an electromagnetic relay is a switch which is used to switch high voltage or high current using low power circuit and here the low power circuit is basically going to work as a controlling unit simple and in our application this controlling unit may be say 8051 based system right so this shows the typical say the relay model right which is having some different terminals inside it we are there with one coil and depending upon the electromagnetic induction principle, this current or the voltage that flow through this device with the help of which we can control the various appliances. So it is magnetically isolated low power circuit for high power applications or the circuits, right? So simple, this is the internal somewhat like architecture of this relay, right? It mainly consists of say the different what we call the terminals as shown over here, right? The one terminal is called as the NC. The NC stands for normally closed. Right? NO stands for normally open. Okay. And here we are there with one uh, say terminal. That terminal is basically a pole which is also called as a common terminal. We are here with a coil and simple this coil we are going to energize here right so when i'm going to give this supply to this coil and when i'm going to close the switch what will happen this coil is get energized and this is cause this cause this pole to be get connected or going to switch its position from normally close to normally open right by default if you see here okay Initially when the switch is say in the off state, which switch, I am talking about this specific switch. When this switch is there into the off state, by default, this pole is get connected to this normally closed like this. It is having this position. Okay. And the moment at which we close this switch means when the switch is on, this coil is get energized. And it is going to generate some magnetic field here and because of that, the pole is going to change its position from normally close to this normally open and now it is going to have this connection okay so in this way this coil is responsible the energizing the coil is responsible for the conduction of this simple work or the activation of relay right so it is activated by energizing the electromagnet so this coil is nothing but or this coil is termed as what simple your electromagnet the coil wounded on soft iron right so whatever this structure is there right this structure is same as that of this if you see here we are there with one uh, simple soft iron inside it and in over it what is done simple the coil is bound here, right so these are the readily available the what we call the relay units which are present into a market right so here the dc plus dc minus is there so simple the plus 12 volt supply the positive plate of the battery is connected to dc plus the negative plate is connected to dc minus and the signal to trigger this is given from what you are controlling unit okay. 
simple so i will term this as what my dc plus and this as what my dc minus these two terms okay and here the signal right so i shown here let me magnify this okay here we have it fine so the dc plus connected to positive plate of battery dc minus connected to negative plate of battery and the signal trigger code right so this is given from where you are controlling unit in our case we are going to send one simple high pulse through the microcontroller which is going to cause simple the energizing of the activation of this coil and once the coil is energized the internal cone which is by default connected to normally closed which was there into normally closed position is going to change its position from normally closed to normally open so what will happen because of this the relay is get activated in simple words okay now here we are there right so here the common terminal as shown here normally open normally closed terminal and as per the requirement we are going to do the connection so this is the typical connection that shown or say here i am going to turn on this uh, what you call the bulb so what is done one terminal is directly connected to bulb whereas from supply this this pin is connected to your supply and from the supply this terminal is connected to where your common terminal okay and here whatever the coil energizing mechanism is there through this we are going to energize the coil so that the normally close to normally open so when here the supply will come from this terminal over here but right now it is connected to normally close so no supply is given to it but when i am going to energize the coil what will happen the pole is going to change its position from normally close to normally open and this pole is get connected here and my path is get completed and this lamp will get blue okay so the same application we are going to discuss out over here right so here uh, the basic precaution that we have to take is what a relay should not be directly connected to a microcontroller it need a driving circuit because of said this following reason means what no doubt i am there with a microcontroller and one relay unit with, is with me i can't directly interface this relay unit with my microcontroller unit. why this is so because the microcontroller is not able to supply the current required for the proper working of a relay right a relay requires some high current whereas that much current is not directly provided by this microcontroller why because a single pin is capable to provide say the 15 milliampere current only, right however when i'm going to deal with this relay the relay is required around 50 to 100 milliampere current and in order to activate this this coil microcontroller or once we are going to activate okay no doubt the coil is there means what there will be what the concept of back emf the back emf may be get introduced whenever i'm going to activate the coil and because of that activation it might happen that the entire microcontroller working will be get failed because of the negative voltage that produced by the relay due to the back EMF. And to avoid this, what we are going to do? We are going to make use of a transistor which simply works as a switch as a driver circuit. Okay. So instead of wasting a time, let us discuss one simple example. Right here, I am there with my relay unit. Okay. So here. Uh, I have connected this relay to my pin number P2.0, the controlling signal I am going to give to this P2.0. Once I am going to turn on this transistor, what will happen? The collector current is going to energize this coil and here I am there, right? So this is what my pole, that is a common terminal I will consider. This is the normally closed because and C here the pole is get directly connected and this is what the end pole normally open, right? So when the coil is get energized, this pole is going to change its position right from this to this and this lamp will be okay. So over here. So what is that? Uh, this is my simple basic circuit. I have connected one simple lamp and this lamp is turned on and off because of say the activity of this relay. The moment at which the relays get activated, the proper current path is provided and hence the relay is get turned on here okay and here i am connecting one switch so first i will show you directly a demo of this how exactly this uh, normally closed and normally open what is the role of this coil energizing and all that we will first get demonstration and then back end we will discuss the code here so now i am going to turn on this uh, what you call the circuit right so at this moment if you see the transistor is there into off state and as the transistor is in the off state 
the relay unit is not activated and as the relay unit is not activated so for sake of simplicity i will give some nomenclature here so this is my normally closed that is nc and this terminal is a normally open and so we are here with the normally closed and normally open and as by default this pole is connected to this terminal and that's why it is called as a normally closed okay and the moment at which i am going to press the switch the coil is get energized and now the coil or this pole is going to change its position from normally closed to normally open so let us cross check it again and at that time this lamp is get turned on if you see here okay over here uh, just wait for a moment let me do some slight changes to understand the working of the lamp i will make this entire as a black or just turn it off okay okay now just look at here my pole is going to change its position from normally closed to normally open okay now it is there at normally closed and the moment at which i am going to turn on the switch it is there with the normally open and now the proper current path is provided and the led is get or uh, this lamp is get turned on so let us see first the code of it right so here is my first code let me add the file So as shown here, uh, the LED, the activation, the transistor, which is going to work as a driving unit here, it is connected to P2 dot. Just wait for a moment. Let me change the current uh, color so that it will be easier for us with proper visualization. Okay, here, this transistor through which the relay is interfaced with 8051 microcontroller, it is connected to P2 dot zero. So I'm going to turn this as a relay pin P2.0. So simple. To turn on it, simple one high pulse is given. So to turn on the relay, I'm going to deal with this just send a signal that is a low high to low pulse. That's it. Right. And the moment at which I'm going to send this low high to low pulse here, okay, what will happen? The, this uh, relay is get turned on. Uh, to better understand directly the operation, let me consider a second program to which the button is also interface. Okay. Here it is. Okay, right. So the button is connected to P2.0. So what is my main task uh, here? The moment at which I am going to press the button. Okay, here when I am going to press the button, this LED should be or this lamp should be get turned on. So let me fit this entire circuit. Over here, right. When I am going to press the switch. The lamp should be get turned on, and that was what the simple activation of this that will cause the activation of this relay. Okay, so let us see here. S bit relay connected to P2.0, and the button button is connected to P2. Dot, or sorry, P1.1. And what I'm going to do by default, the status of P1.1 is high. The moment at which I'm going to press the switch, it is going to change the uh, its status from high to low. In short, when P1.0 is at low state, the LED should be turned on for say 5 seconds. Or this lamp, not LED, sorry, the lamp should be get turned on for 5 seconds. This is my basic task. The logic is simple. Simply we have to send one high pulse, high to low pulse for 5 seconds. That's it, right? So simple relay is equal to 0. So what we did here? I am going to configure this relay, the pin to which relay is connected as an output and the second this button pin as an input. So now I am going to check the status of button, right. If that button is pressed, what will happen? It is going to change its status from low to uh, sorry, high to low and once it is at a low, I am going to send the high to low pulse there. So the relay will be get turned on when the status of this pin is 1. Right, so it is one for five seconds, and once the five seconds are over, the relay is get turned off, and this is what my uh, uh, routine. Right, only this much logic is required, nothing more than the same. So let me check its execution once again. Again, for better understand, I will change the color here. Let us stick with black. Okay, so when I'm going to run it, if you see here, right, by default the status of the pin is high. Right, the red dot which is indicated. 
and as it is a high the relay is not activated and as the relay is not activated the lamp is still there into the off state now i am going to press the switch the moment at which i am going to press the switch it is going to change the status from high to low and the lamp is will be turned on for 5 seconds only just check out <coughs> so when i am going to press the switch here the status is get changed right it is at a low level if i want to uh, say increase the delay so of 5 suppose i am going to uh, turn on this led for 10 seconds Uh, the lamp sorry for the 10 second right so what i'm going to do simple i'm going to change the delay here instead of uh, it's a 500 i'm going to put now the 10 uh, sorry 5000 10000 here right so to turn on the relay same the high pulse the the status of relay pin will be high for 10 second and then it is go it is get changed to zero right so the moment for which the status of a relay pin is high the relay is get activated or still there into the on state and it is going to pulse the clock so here it will check right my lamp will be on for say continuous 10 seconds and after 10 second automatically it will be get turned on so in this way we can interface the relay into the 8051 microcontroller if you are using the ready made relay board as shown in the presentation directly there is not now necessary to uh, deal with this uh, even the transistor directly this pin we can connect to okay let me show if you are using this direct uh, say the board here right this board if you are using for the uh, to call the application right so signal directly connect To this to the board. That's it. Okay. So in this way, we can interface the relay unit with the 8051 microcontroller.